Today is the day I'm gonna start to do a week in my life vlog. I'm currently reading Ride. Oh my god, that smells so good. I wanna go to bed and just curl up in a ball. To another video today is monday and it is currently 1 1 22 it is a work day so i've been working this morning i haven't done a week in my life in a hot minute and it's just gonna be hopefully chill hopefully cozy chatty vibes i made my chia seed pudding and i'll show you guys tonight when i make it again because i've been having it every morning you're gonna see it a couple more times in this video but i'm on my health kick right now okay your girl is getting it together. Because it's actually nice and sunny, we're gonna take Bean for a little walk, which I'm still trying to incorporate every day. As long as it's not minus 20 degrees Celsius, I think we should go for a little walk. And it's just nice, it's a nice day. has made, what do you call this? Chicken stew. Trevor's a soup person. It is 8.20, I just finished washing my hair. I don't know why I got this red spot on my face and it happened before I went to the gym actually. It almost looks like a bug bite, but we're gonna pretend like it's not so that I don't have to think about a bug being on my face. <laughs> I just finished washing my hair. I don't know if I just said that, but my hair is still a little bit damp. As you guys saw, I was using that time to read. I'm currently reading Bride by Ali Hazelwood. And I've actually never read any of her books before. She is typically known, I think, for like rom-com, romance type of books. If you follow any type of book tuber, book talker, is that what we call TikTokers? Any type of person that talks about books on the internet has probably talked about Ali Hazelwood and this book just came out. However, I will say that I actually went to the library last, no, two weeks ago. I did vlog my trip to the library because I got a library card and it was super cute. Let me actually go grab the book. I got two books, the other one must be in the bedroom, but this is just one of the books that I got. The reason I went to the library was to try to see if I could enjoy physical books. And the thing with physical books is you can't do things like what I was doing if I'm blow drying my hair. Like how am I gonna pull the book and turn the pages? And to be quite honest, when I was trying to read the other day with a physical book, it felt foreign. And that's so bizarre because I used to read physical books growing up. Like there were no Kindles when I was a kid and I was reading my Hunger Games and Twilight. Yes, I read Twilight. You know, that was just how you read books. And then I just figured that once I picked up a physical book again, especially for novels and fiction, right? Like I just thought it would be the same type of vibe, but it definitely doesn't feel like it just the portability and versatility of a kindle is unmatched so that's what i was doing if you didn't figure why i was holding my kindle i was reading anyways i have a couple things i want to do that i thought i'd take you guys along for you guys did see i went to the gym i'm feeling really good about the choices that i'm currently making and just overall i'm feeling the best that i have in a really long time and I want to kind of keep up that momentum. I am going to make my chia seed pudding for tomorrow because I think I said I was going to show you how I do that. And I'm also going to make my cold brew, which I make in a batch typically every couple of nights. So I'm about to run out and I want to make some for the next couple days. And then after that, I have a video that I'm trying to publish tomorrow. So I want to take a final review of that. And then tomorrow morning, I'm going to do the thumbnail when I wake up, upload it and try to get it ready to be published by lunchtime. First, let's make some chia seed pudding. What do we need in order to make a chia seed pudding? Actually, before we get started, if you don't know what a chia seed pudding is, it is, as the name suggests, a pudding that is made out of chia seeds. I also use hemp hearts. So this is what a bag of chia seeds looks like, okay? If you don't have them, these ones say black chia seeds. 
I just thought all chia seeds are black, but if there are other colors, I'd love to try them but I just have the black ones. And then I have hemp hearts. These ones are actually running out. These are often put into smoothies as well when I have smoothies, which is not all the time. But this has been hitting the spot for me for a couple reasons, which I'll get into in a second. I do have a new bag of hemp hearts because that one is running out. This one is actually way more bang for your buck because this whole bag was, I think, ten dollars we just get them at the regular grocery store because otherwise for some reason they cost an arm and a leg i will say i was at the dollar store and i saw they had chia seeds for two dollars so i'm going to be getting them there the next time but i did pick up these pumpkin seeds from the dollar store and they're only two dollars so i just want to say that there are places to get things that aren't an arm and a leg expensive i also have this plant-based milk just a disclaimer is i typically never use this but they ran out of oat milk so we ended up with this but this is a plant-based milk and i typically prefer this over dairy milk but use whatever you would prefer i'm just gonna use this little tupperware i'll do two tablespoons of chia seeds and then I got the hemp hearts. Usually I do two to three tablespoons of this. It's probably good. I was telling my friend that sometimes it feels like I'm eating bird food because low key it kind of does look like that, but we're gonna make it tasty, okay? I like to add some brown sugar and cinnamon. The brown sugar I usually put pretty sparingly. Oops, uh oh, because I end up putting honey on top afterwards, just a little bit. I do love some cinnamon and I just mix up the dry ingredients. I'm gonna put my milk. So I don't usually measure this, but I just try to put enough so that all of the seeds are fully covered. Usually when I wake up in the morning, I add a little bit more milk and then I just put it back in the fridge. Pop the lid on, put it in the fridge, and there you go. Once I take that out in the mornings, I will put honey on it and then also these pumpkin seeds. I wanted something different in the mornings. I also didn't want to have to cook in the mornings. Not that it takes me that long, but it is an extra efficiency in the mornings and it feels very satisfying when I mix it up. Oh, I put peanut butter in it as well, but I've just been liking it as something different. So that's my recipe. Next up, I'm gonna make some cold brew. This is a whole cooking segment of this video. I've made this so many times and I've filmed myself doing this a few times now. So if you've watched this in other vlogs, it might be a bit repetitive, but I make cold brew slash iced coffee at home. And I basically make a batch, like I said, every couple of nights. This is what you need if you wanna make it yourself. And the reason I do this is because I am a fiend for iced coffee and ice cold brew in general, but iced coffee slash iced cold brew is hell expensive to be buying every day. So I just, I love this hack for me. And if I can inspire you to try to make this at home, then I mean, you know, just think of all the money you could save. Also, we do have an espresso and I was using those pods for a hot minute, but like they were just a little too much for the everyday for me. And those aren't even that cheap if you actually think about it. It is cheaper than a $7 latte, but at the same time, it's not that cheap when you actually think about it. This is cheap though. So what do you need? I have my French press. This is a standard French press. There's so many different French presses and they all do about the same thing. So you really don't need a fancy one. And then the other two magic ingredients is some coffee. This is Folgers. Literally, this is $10, maybe $8 if you're lucky, and it lasts forever. This is water in a filtered Brita. I usually get about three to four coffees out of this, hence it lasts me like maybe two to three days. But here's a nice whopping tablespoon of this. That is about four tablespoons. That's usually how much I include. And then I put Z water, give her a good little mix. So the reason why I call this cold brew is because I've read some articles that do basically say this is what cold brew is. And your girl has been a barista. So I do know that cold brew isn't actually made like this if you go to like Starbucks. The concept of it, however, is really just the fact that the grinds are brewed in cold water or they're steeped in cold water, I should say. So the flavor is actually different or it's supposed to be different because it's cold water. And I think the caffeine level is different because of that as well. Not a coffee connoisseur, but that is the knowledge that I have and I'm just gonna go with it. As you can see, I put this on top 
it has slightly overflowed, but that, that's about it. And I'm just gonna leave this on the counter overnight. In the morning, I will fully press it down so that the grinds are separated from the coffee. So if you've ever wondered what it is that I'm drinking or where I'm getting my coffee from, this is it. Good morning, you guys. It is Tuesday and I slept a little bit later than I probably should have. I did finish my video this morning, which is already uploaded. So it's gonna be published at lunch, which I'm excited for because it's a video that I really wanted to get finished for a while now. It's basically how much YouTube paid me in my first year of being monetized. I don't know how many of you guys are interested in that type of thing, but I will make sure that the video is linked if you're interested to check it out. But we're gonna make my chia seed pudding now. This is where we left off. Actually, that's a lie. I did mix it this morning because sometimes it gets a little too dried up. So I ended up mixing it this morning and I added a bit more milk into it. Honey, pumpkin seeds. I think some people put berries on this, but I'm not really a berry type of girl, to be honest. And then some honey, you could do agave if you'd like. I'm so excited. I'm actually pretty hungry. Mm. I forgot my peanut butter. <laughs> this is the peanut butter that we have. I was like, this is missing something. I know it looks like bird food, but I promise you, if you add the right things to it, it's actually enjoyable. Today, I was supposed to go to a coffee shop to have a little co-working session with a friend of mine, but they couldn't make it. So I think I'm gonna find my way to a coffee shop anyways by myself because I was kind of looking forward to having a change of scenery. As you guys know, I'm trying to find more opportunities to go to a coffee shop and just get work done there. And this afternoon I don't have any meetings. So it's just a good time because I don't have to worry about background noise and stuff like that. All right, I will check in with you guys at lunchtime. It's 12.30. The weather's not looking so cute anymore. It was such a nice and sunny day this morning. If you guys have watched me for a while, you've probably heard me say many, many times how much the weather affects my mood. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of getting to me right now because I've just been like staring at it and it's not helping at all. But I find that having a change of scenery does make my mood instantly feel better. Anyways, for lunch today, we're gonna make a salmon Bowl. This is the infamous salmon bowl from like two or three years ago. I've only made it a couple times. I made salmon the other night and I totally forgot about it. The whole premise of this is to use some leftover salmon and basically turn it into a bowl with rice and some condiments. And then put this in the microwave. Some soy sauce, some yum yum sauce, and a little bit of sriracha. I'm gonna add this kimchi. And yes, this is President's Choice brand. I got the seaweed for this exact purpose. I also have some for cocky. Look how perfect that is. I mean, it low-key doesn't look that good on camera, but it does in person. So I'm gonna have this and then pack up for the rest of the workday in a coffee shop. I just finished doing my lashes. If you guys don't know, I do cluster lashes, which are just like DIY lash extensions at home. And I've been doing them for years at this point, but I picked up, oh my God, there's food all over my mouth. I picked up these new clusters. I don't know if you guys are interested, but I will put them in the description, but it just makes me feel more put together. I was not in the best mood earlier. It sounds so dramatic, but genuinely, if I see the sun instantly, a thousand times happier. My mood is lifted and I just feel like there's nothing that can stop me. When I see the clouds and rain especially, oh my god, I'm just so dramatic, I guess, subconsciously because I feel like the world is crashing and I want to go to bed and just curl up in a ball. So I am really glad that I ended up going out to the coffee shop and just like 
getting out of the apartment. I wasn't sure if I wanted to go to the gym today, but I ended up going for some cardio. But the thing with me and my journey going back to the gym this time around has been the internal conflict I feel with pushing myself to get into the gym because I feel like I could be doing other things. If you're in a low mood, putting more stuff on your plate and doing more work stuff is not gonna fix that. And the low mood for me is often caused by feeling like I have a lack of time which is why I started to wake up earlier so like I feel like I have control over my time in a bunch of different aspects of my life but you know when it comes to things on my to-do list for example which I haven't done in this video intentionally because I personally just haven't really been making personal lists as of lately because I just prefer to have more grace that I'm giving myself and one of the things that we talked about with my therapy sessions is related to low mood and just how I kept feeling like I was running out of time in the day or that I wasn't getting everything on my to-do list done and I've talked openly about that. I'm still working on it and I had to really tell myself today for example that I feel better when I go to the gym and I feel better when I'm moving and I hadn't really moved today because it was pouring outside so this is gonna be good for me and I felt great afterwards so if you feel that way just know you have time too you can find time somewhere somehow and don't let that be an excuse to not do things that are good for you so that was my long-winded rant of how I ended up going to the gym I will catch you guys in the morning It is Wednesday. It's been a little bit busy this morning and I didn't realize that my period is coming in a few days. I typically get so lethargic and just kind of feeling out of it, especially in the days leading up to my period coming. So that is why I was probably in a bit of a low mood yesterday and then the weather is not great today either. So that's the vibe. It's lunchtime and I'm just gonna make myself another salmon rice bowl. finished the gym i'm feeling so good and i came back to some takeout because tonight is a takeout type of night it's wednesday you know what i mean it's a wednesday that feels like a thursday so i feel like that's a good excuse but as you see most days we really don't order food we got some thai food one of the things that we typically try to do if we're ordering is buy one get one so that is exactly what i got a buy one get one deal so it's both the same i'll show you in a second but it's just some green chicken curry if you haven't checked out your local uber eats deals i would recommend taking a look because sometimes they have pretty decent buy one get one options obviously it's never going to be as cheap as making food at home trevor just went out for a walk with bean so he should be back any minute now if you guys don't know i do track my workouts and i'm happy to say that i lifted a total of 17,000 pounds in volume which is about the same weight as a t-rex which i'm pretty proud of i think this is the last day that i'm gonna go to the gym this week because when my period's coming i feel like it makes me even more lethargic so yeah these bowls from umomo wow oh my god that smells so good <laughs> We are in the bedroom, it's about 8.30 now, and it's time to record the next episode of Nothing Really Matters, my podcast, Shameless Plug. I would say this is 
currently my biggest passion project that I feel excited about that I just always look forward to getting the time to record episodes and thinking about what the next topics are going to be that I get to talk about and hearing from you guys that end up listening and anything that you could relate to and stuff like that just means so so much. It just makes me feel warm and cozy inside. So I love it. I will say I have wanted to do a video portion of the podcast basically the whole time that I've been doing episodes. If you don't know, I had launched this in November and at that point I just kind of wanted to see like what I could do with it, you know? And I still feel that way because this is a completely new territory for me and honestly, I just want to do it because I enjoy it and I like the format, I like learning new things, I like that I'm still figuring things out to a certain extent, like sometimes I do feel a lot of imposter syndrome because it's stuff that I am not as familiar with and it's not a format that I've really done for that long in the grand scheme of things. But with that said, I still want to keep going and one of my resolutions in 2024 was to do an episode every week and I did actually record video for the first few episodes that I did because I wanted the opportunity to eventually turn those into video versions. But now that I look back, I just don't feel like it's a representation of what I would want the video podcast to look like. That's been always in the back of my mind, especially every time that I start recording. I will just say that I've enjoyed this a lot as well because I feel like it's another channel for me to share some things that I don't always want to dive into in my videos because it would be a whole tangent in a vlog but anyways let's record this podcast and this is gonna be the last thing that I do today I think because I've been kind of pushing this off all week and I need not I need but I want to have this done and edited tomorrow welcome back to nothing really matters It is Friday. I can't believe I'm saying that. I feel like I have thought that it's Friday so many times already through this week. The fact that it actually is, is amazing. But also, I low-key just completely did not pick up the camera yesterday. Um, which I kind of suspected would happen at some point this week because filming every single day is a whole other thing and it just hasn't worked before. It clearly still doesn't, but we're gonna finish up the week and I'll take you guys along for the rest of the day. Um, I just have my coffee. It is nice and sunny as well. Definitely still feels like winter, but it's actually the first day of March today. So I feel like we're getting closer to spring. It is also the month of my birthday so I feel like March is just a good time all around. I'm gonna start work in a minute. I have a couple calls this morning. I might try to go to a cafe this afternoon since I don't have any calls, I don't think. Random fact, but I've been trying to keep track of like my steps through the day and 8,000 is kind of what I'd like to be at most of the time, 8,000 steps-ish, but that has been a bit of a challenge when the weather wasn't that great, so I can't let that be an excuse today. have finished the work day and the entire week. Now it is dinner time. I feel like Fridays are sometimes the days that we end up ordering because Trevor and I are just like tired, but because we already had takeout this week, we're not gonna do that again. So I'm gonna make one of my super simple, staple, classic recipes, and we're gonna do a little chicken stir fry. 